zero halves I've ever seen. Up and down both teams. Uh, CSUB outshot UNLV 8-7. UNLV had more corner kicks. 3-2 on corner kicks. Uh, but great up and down match. No cards for either team. Michaela Morris had four shots on goal for the Rebels. I'm sorry, had four shots on goal. She led the team. Sophie Freeman and Michelle Day led CSUB in shots with two along with Amina Settle. She also had two. So 8-7 the shots on goal. 0-0 zero, zero the score. Really, really good half for both teams. If you're just joining the WAC Digital Network, we had some technical difficulties to start the evening. But it looks like everything's all good except for I think we're going to struggle having that score in the graphic up tonight which is no problem I'll keep you up to date with the time and the score as we go along just about the same starting lineup for the runners except Martinez Jordan Martinez will stay in at the right midfield position I think Michelle, no, Michelle Day is still in on the left. Say is in on the left. Sophie Freeman is in on the right. I'm wrong. I got to figure out who's in, who's out. I might be wrong. It might be Jordan. Jordan might be out. I thought she was going back in and warming up. May end up going back with that same start. What a ball by Delgado to get things kicked off here in the second half. Here goes Freeman down the line being chased by Coach. Coach will control for UNLV. She'll play it out wide. Good pressure by the runners. Morris, she'll control. Here comes Coates. May be the most technically gifted player on the field, but Delgado is able to get in there, get her foot on the ball, and win it back for the runner. She'll play a good ball in for Settles just outside her reach. And it looks like UNLV is still without Herman Award nominee, Chidera Ucabello. Coach Shaw and obviously that defense losing a big part of that back line about 15 minutes into the game. The Rebels are going to turn and run at the runners. Let's see what the Rebels can do with it here. Harvey gets right by her, but there's Freeman to cover up. Coach Kernin really has great chemistry on the wings with her wing backs and wing mids. That's for sure on both sides. Claire Nelson's a big loss. Shot on goal just wide. Left footed shot by the Rebels just misses. And Bertram and the runners will have a goal kick. So for Coach Kernin and the runners, great chemistry, especially on the right with Harvey and Freeman. They really do a good job of covering each other as well as Freeman likes to sneak inside a little bit. And when that happens, Harvey really gets down the wing with pace. Rebels win the header in midfield. Look to try and get the ball in. Maya Green will play D. She wins the ball. It'll be a throw for the Rebels, but good job by Maya. Quick throw for the Rebels. They decide not to, and they'll set it up. They'll throw it in deep. Maya Green and Sophie Freeman right there. Ball played in the six-yard box. Headed out by Cole. Brought down by Coates. She'll get the shot off. Deflected and right into the hands of Bertram. Early pressure by the Rebels to start the second half. We'll get an outlet here, and here comes Arante. Great things happen where Arante has the ball. Great ball to Settles. Can't she run it down? Can't do it. Good recovery by number 16, Troy Holloman. But the runners will have a throw deep in Rebels territory. Saya will come up and take the throw. I think that's Arante. She'll hit a shot deflected by Holloman. Top of the box. There she is again. Shot in the air right into the hands of Sally, the senior goalkeeper from Tacoma, Washington. Only the second or the third time she's had the ball in her hands. This will be her first punt. She won't punt it. She'll set it to her feet. UNLV really likes to play out of the back if they can. There's Almendaris. She'll try and play a long ball out of bounds.
Throw by the runners. It'll deflect to Freeman. She'll deflect one in. Amandaris, nice give and go there. Right to Coates. Great work there by the Rebels. And they'll win it. Rebels can go. Coach try and play it in. Little miscommunication with the forward. But the Rebels already have it back. And there's Coach. She's going to try and do some damage one-on-one -on -one with Harvey. This should be a good matchup right here if you know the, the runners this year. Coates and Harvey will def little shoulder to shoulder win the ball and she'll clear it out. Great work by Ariana Harvey. Unbelievable one on one work there defensively for the runners. Good switch of the field by the Rebels. Runners do a good job of transitioning their defense. And there's Delgado. She'll clear it out. Can't get it to settles just over the top, but there's Day. Stolen by the Rebels, and that'll be a no foul. They'll play. Here comes Harvey, and she's got a lot of green in front of her if she wants to use it. Plays it to Hines. Freeman's still on the wing if she goes. They got Settles up top. There goes Hines. There goes Sophie. Good ball in behind. Can she get to it? She will. Good ball across. It'll be out just barely out. Good work by Sophie. Good effort by Hines playing that ball in. And the Rebels will have the goal kick. Five minutes into the second half, 0-0 zero, zero the score. You might see the first long ball of the night for UNLV. Sally and all the Rebels defenders are up. Long ball just make it to the defensive circle. Delgado will get a little deflection on it, go right to UNLV, and they'll look to counter. Ball played in, good step in front by Cole. She also wins the tackle after the deflection. Ball played over the top, and it'll go right to Bertram. She'll settle down, and she's got Harvey on the wing. Nothing bad happens when those wingers have the ball. They do a good job. Good driven ball to Arante. That'll take the wind out of you. Hit Kingman right in stomach. Good job. They're going to get right by Harvey. Ball played across in the six-yard box. Wide open ball for Coates, and Coates will get the goal. A little... I think it was number 11 scored the goal in Coates. And I think Kurtz got the assist. One, nothing, UNLV. 39.05 remaining in the second half. And I say Coates, it's Courts. I apologize. So in the sixth minute, So it's 40, 51, 52, 52nd minute. Quartz gets the goal. Ball played in by Freeman, deflected out by UOV. Here comes Harvey. And now, if you're Kernin, the question is, when do you really want people to start pushing up? They can really, the, rub, the runners can do some damage when they push those wing backs up. You have Harvey and Sam. Ball over the top, she'll be off sides. So you have Harvey... And I think Saya, it is. Saya is over there on the left. Harvey on the right, the two wingbacks really can do some damage when they push forward out of the back. So good work by the Rebels. They do get the goal. Little deflection around. That's what happens. Those deflected goals are a killer. Really wasn't a big time setup. Just kind of deflected around in box and bounced right to courts and she gets her goal, if I'm not mistaken. Ball played in, cleared out by the runners. For Quartz, it's her fifth goal of the year. Don't forget, she came into the year 29th, came into the game 29th in the country in points scored, and she'll just add to that total. And there she is again, a nice touch, a layoff for Almendarez, who will come in and she'll look to put one in the mixer. Good deflection by Freeman. She get in the way of that cross, trying to knock one in again, top of the box. Headed in by UNLV, headed out by the runners. Can they get the shot off? They cannot, but we'll have a corner for UNLV. Cole and Green were there defensively for CSUB to deflect it out. And UNLV has loved the short corner here early in the year. 
And they're going to do another one. Nice work there. They'll definitely have the angle on the cross. Ball played in. Dangerous ball through the six-yard box. But it'll go wide. And it'll be a goal kick for CSUB and Bertram. one nothing to score here on the WAC Digital Network Friday night at the main soccer field in Bakersfield. 36-35 remaining in the second half. Now don't forget, both teams love to play overtime. So this game is far from over. Runners 3-0 in overtime. UNLV 2-0 in overtime. Don't forget both teams. I mean, UNLV's only played seven games. CSUB's played eight. So both teams enjoy playing a little free soccer. So there's still that opportunity. Good work by Saya. She hustles a ball down in front of the Rebel. And that'll be a foul from behind. Wouldn't be a surprise if it's our first card of the night. May not be a card, but it'd be the old harsh talking to and the old don't do it again or you're going to see a little card. A little bit of a dirty tackle there on the wing, that's for sure. Ball black for Green. She'll swing it right for Harvey. Thought about going to Delgado. She'll try to go over the top for Hines. It'll be deflected and headed over. And here comes Harvey again. She'll touch. She wants that space on the wing if she can get it. And she's got it. She wants to go. Good cross in. Looking for Settles. Deflected out. Day tries to bring it down. Arante tries to win it. Can't do it. Now they'll try to go long. It's a good ball for Quartz. She's in. Can she go again? She's going to go from the left wing to the right wing, and she still has control. Try to play one across. Can't do it. It'll be a goal kick. Good work by Quartz, but even better defensively by CSUB. The Rebels will control in the midfield. Stolen by Delgado and Sabrina. And the runners can go if, with speed if they can. Giveaway. We'll go to the Rebels. But Orante wins it back. Trying to get in behind that Rebels defense. It's been tough all night. But they'll have a throw in the final third of the Rebels. Will the runners. Ball controlled by CSUB. Cole will swing one wide for Freeman. Can she keep it in? Good work. She does. Got a little space. She can get one in the back. She'll cut her man. Now look to cross. She'll shoot one on target. Nice save by Sally. Had to get off her feet. Jumped up. Got two hands on it. Brought it in. And now they'll be able to counter. Good outlet quickly for the Rebels. And they got a little space to run. The switch is on for courts so if they can get her can. Now Harvey's got green in front of her, and she loves seeing that green grass in front of her. She can run. Ball to Hines. Hines can go today. She does go today. Harvey's going to get in the mix and stay in the play. Settles is in the box if they can get it to her. Day to Hines. Can Harvey win it back? Can't deflect it out by UNLV, and they'll be able to clear. Good step up by Saya. Push from behind, no call, and it'll just be a throw. That swim team of CSUB, they know when it's a foul and not. They're into the game over there. Nice spin by Arante. Delgado wins it in the midfield. It'll go to Green. She'll swing one wide for Freeman, and it may be just a little too far. It is. They'll be throwing good idea by Maya, one of the captains here for CSUB. We'll have our first sub of the half here in a moment, and it'll be by the runners. Haley Vicente will check in. Long ball over the top. Mikel Morris, she'll try to run it down. Great job by Maya Green and be cleared out by Bertram, but a turnover. They're going to try and shoot. Deflected by UNLV player and go out of play. Unlucky there. Number 28, Galbraith, won the ball. She tried to catch Bertram off her line, but is deflected out. 
Vicente will check in and Day will check out. So Vicente ends up being the first sub of the half and Day will check out Day, the 5'8 senior from Seattle and Vicente, the junior from Las Vegas. You know Vicente wants to play. You know, when you get in these situations as a college kid and she's playing against ULV, she's from Las Vegas, you got to wonder if she wasn't recruited, and that gives you that extra ump. Nice cross in, but it'll go right to Bertram in her hand. So Vicente's got that little extra oomph playing against her hometown college. I'm sure she grew up watching. Ball played to Delgado, and now there goes Settles. Can she run it down? She can a little too far. Out of the reach of Settles. You know, the keeper for UNLV, Jordan Sally, a senior from Tacoma, she does a really good job of playing what they're now calling that sweeper keeper. She has no fear coming out of the box, using her feet, wasting time. Look, now she's going to make Hines or Settles come to her. Look, she'll just waste that time. All the time is on UNLV's side. Long ball, best long ball Sally's played all night. One hop way into the, ended up in the final third of CSUB. There's Court. She plays a good ball in. They're trying to get it back to her. Deflect it out. Bertram slides out. Gets her hands on a great job by Jordan to control. Good outlet to Harvey, and they've got space. Play it into Freeman. She'll touch by one. She may go by another if she can. She'll end up playing it. Settles in. Settles has the speed. Can she get there? She can't, but it'll be a throw-in for the runners deep in ULV territory. 30 minutes remaining in the second half. Throw goes to Settles. Freeman's there if she needs her. Settles trying to get the corner kick if she can. It'd be... A foul on Settles, and that'll be a free kick for UNLV. That'll drive you nuts as a coach. Not that Settles wasn't working, but it's the foul deep where they're scrambling, having trouble getting it out. For UNLV, Ariana Reyes is going to come in. She'll be the first sub of the night in the second half for UNLV. And when she was in, she subbed in late in the first half, and she did a lot of good work for the Rebels in the midfield. Good driven ball by Sally, headed on by Courts to go out of bounds. Be the runner's throw. Good throw by Harvey, headed on by Courts, but it'll be more of a flick on a go to Hines. Still looking for Hines to put her posted stamp on this game. Leads the team in goals with five, so obviously Coach Kernin looking for Kamari to get that game tire if you can get it. Little unforced air there, and we'll have a sub for both teams. So Hudson's going to check in for Hines. The second sub for CSUB, Naria, Naria Hudson, I'm sorry, from Kent, Washington. She'll check in for Hines. The number six, Katie Ballou, she checks out for UNLV. And Ariana Reyes, she checks in. You know, you got to love these coaches right now. Coach Shaw for ULV, coaching on the sidelines with Katie Ballou. She's a sophomore. You're always teaching. She's from Henderson, and he's still... It's always, you know, whether it's technical or tactical, you can always teach these kids. Doesn't matter how old you get. Look, I'm, you know, I know I'm like 18 years old and I can still learn. And if you think I'm 18, well, you, we become best friends. <laughs> UNLV, deep in the corner, try to get the corner. They do get the corner. They're going to say it deflected off of a runner's defender. And I didn't see the deflection there. But I will say the referee is about five yards away and we're 55 yards away. So I will give him the benefit of the doubt there. Let's see if the Rebels try the short corner. Looks like CSUB's got it set up where there's no short corner. There isn't. They're going to go into the box. Courts has it on, but it'll go to a runner player be deflected out. Can Hudson win the ball? Still battling with a couple Rebels player. Can't get a good through ball there. 
Great recovery. Great recovery by Sophie Freeman. As the Rebels were in, she gets back, and in fact, she doesn't even give the corner away. Wins it out of bounds off a Rebels player. It's a goal kick for CSUB. Short goal kick there by Bertram. One by UNLV. Harvey will win it back, though, from court. She'll stop control. A little toe drag back. Controlled, no foul call. Could have been a foul, no call. It's getting a little chippy. one nothing. 20 minutes into the second half. And you can see, here comes the competitive nature of both squads. Handball, good call there by the official. That should be a yellow card for the kick away, or at least a warning, and he doesn't even warn her. That's the second time UNLV's kicked the ball away, and there hasn't been a call after the whistle. That's got to be watched by the officials. That is bad, bad. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ball played out. Here's Krutz. She had the assist on the goal by Quartz. She's going to look to cut inside, but there's that girl again, Ariana Harvey. She'll go to Freeman, and here's that chemistry of these two on the right. It's incredible. I'll tell you what. Coach Grenine can just throw those two out, and he doesn't even make a sub. Wouldn't surprise me if those two are roommates. They know <laughs> where each other are at all the time. Well done by the runners. Good possession here. They're going to try and go over the top for Settles. Deflected back and right into the hands of Sally. Good effort there. CSU be really working on trying to get Amina in over the top if they can. Little quick turnover. Runners will control. Freeman, she'll look to switch field. Oh, great work there by Vicente. You kidding me? Back to Freeman, one-on-one. -on -one. Can she get a little cross into the box? She's in the box. Good ball across the six-yard box. Here comes Vicente. She can't get a shot off. Deflected out by UNLV. Mm -mm -mm. Score remains 1-0, a little less than 25 minutes remaining in the second half. UNLV dodges it there, and now they'll counter. They'll knock it long for court. She'll one touch it out. Was she off sides? No call. Kreutz, can she do some damage one-on-one? -on -one? She'll get in the box. There's Harvey. Ball go out. Bertram saves it from a corner, and then be in Bertram's hands. Mm-mm-mm. And at the next sub for CSUB, we might get to see Anessa Sesaverovich for the first time at home this year. He didn't call the handball. Everybody even stopped it with such a bad <laughs> call. And UNLV will still play, and they're going to get in, and they're going to be able to get a cross off into the box with a lot of Rebel players in there. Great cross in, a little far. Sale try to run it down. It's a Rebel player cuts in front. They'll look to cut. Nowhere to go in the corner right now. Probably looking for just the throw in if you can get it. Ball played into the box. Dangerous spot here. Bertram comes out of the game in her hands. Number 24, Kayla Brinkman getting ready to check in for UNLV. She'll check in for Caitlin Krutz. Good ball to Delgado. She'll swing it wide for Freeman. Whack freshman of the year to whack freshman of the year. Great ball in by Freeman. It'll go to Hudson. It'll deflect over to Vicente. Good ball in for Settles. She's going to be chopped from behind. And we're going to have a penalty kick with CSUB with the chance to tie the game. With 22 minutes and 50 seconds remaining, Settles chopped down from behind by number 16, Troy Holloman. And I get a feeling it'll be a Ronte to take the PK to tie this game. The funny thing is, I think this is more nerve-wracking for the team that's taking it than the team in goal defensively because you're expected to make these. So nerve-wracking situation here for CSUB, and a Ronte can tie the game right here. And she will! Inside of the foot, right footer, side netting, and the runners tie the game at one. 22.50 remaining 
in the second half. As I said before, both teams love free soccer and we may get a chance at it. 68th minute, one one to score here in Bakersfield. Subs came on. I was getting the information down. I'm sorry, on <laughs> substitutions. We'll go with the flow. I think Kelsey came back on for UNLV. And she came on for number eight, Paige Almendares. She'll go back to the left back, Will Kelsey. Michaela Kelsey from El Dorado, California is here. We have ourselves a ball game here at Main Soccer Field. 1-1 one, one the score. Ball crossed in. It'll be a corner kick for UNLV. And so for Arante... It's her fourth goal of the year. Great ball in, right in the six yard box, headed out. UNLV will keep it in. Maya Green trying to head it out. Ball across. Here comes a shot from deep, blocked by CSUB, and that's going to allow the runners to get out. And the runners will control, getting physical now. Good ball in. Sasevarovic will control. That'll ball be played wide for Settles. She's got Harvey going, but Settles one-on-one -on -one in green space. There's Harvey. She can score. She's already got three goals from the wing back. Good ball to Settles. Can Settles get one in the box? She gets a runner, man. Ball in. Deflected by Sally. Sasevarovic comes in. It'll be deflected wide. What a save by Sally. We got one UNLV player down, possibly a second. We're going to have a timeout on the field with 21-02 remaining. We're going to get that replay up right here. What a save by Sally to just deflect it wide to keep this game tied 1-1. Otherwise, CSUB would have taken a lead with two goals in about two minutes. And we will have a timeout on the field with the injury. So let's get, <laughs> it's going to be tough to get everything under control. And it's been a really, really quality game here in Bakersfield tonight. Court scored the goal in the 52nd minute for UNLV to give a 1-0 lead. And then Arante from the penalty spot ties it 16 minutes later. And that's where we're at, 1-1. Really, really high quality level soccer right now here. Don't forget, UNLV 6-1. But you feel like CSUB's really found themselves in the last few weekends. They've won three of their last four. And they all three of their wins, I'm sorry, they've won four of their last five. And three of their four wins have been in overtime. So they've really found themselves. And they are comfortable playing these tight, tight soccer games. UNLV 6-1, two of their wins are in overtime. And here we go again. Sally with the long ball over midfield. Maya Green tries to win the ball in deflection. Here goes Quartz. It's the one player you do not want on the ball for UNLV. Great defense by Ariana Harvey. Ball to Settles. She'll get around her man and now she's got space. She loves the green grass in front of her with that pace she's got. Good deflect. She'll swing it wide for Vicente. What a ball from Amina. Vicente back to Amina. Settles will go wide. Sasevarovic. She'll turn left footed shot. Good defense by UNLV. They'll clear it out. Can Harvey win the ball? There goes Quartz, but here comes Delgado. Nothing's getting, and that's going to be a throw in for CSUB. Oh, they're going to give it to UNLV. I know that deflected off Quartz. Ball over the top. Good throw by Quartz in. Reyes looking to get a spot to shoot. She'll lay it off. Kingman tries to play it in. Good. Oh, hamstring, hamstring. Sasevarovic may need a sub right here. Here comes Hudson. Tries to play for Settles. They know Sasevarovic just tweaked the hammy.
Maya Green, she'll clear it out. Right to Arante, the goal scorer for the runner. Can she get Hudson in? She's going to try and get by the fence. Can't do it and be controlled by the Rebels. And Good ball in. Taken out, no call, and the Rebels try and get in. Can they get something going? Here come three, four UNLV players trying to get in the box. Looking for the cross. Cross comes in over the Bertram's head, off the post. It'll be cleared out. It'll go right to Maya Green. There's a break there for CSUB. At the next sub, the super sub, Jordan Martinez getting ready to sub in. There's a ball for Hudson. Can't get there. Cleared out by number 16, Troy Holloman. She was the one that fouled Settles in the box. Going to try and play to Sasaverovich in behind. Can't do it. Controlled by UNLV. They'll clear it out, but Delgado will control. Back to Arante. Nice stuff there. Haley Vicente swings it wide. Now Harvey will swing it back in. Oh, my goodness. What a volley by CSUB. Just wide. We need to see if we can get that on replay. That's one of the best struck balls I've seen, not just this year, in my life. Are you kidding? Look at this hit. We're going to get that up right now on replay. Ball played in by Harvey. I think it's Vicente that hits this volley. Look at this. Are you kidding? And it just goes wide. <laughs> Jordan Martinez will check into the game for CSUB. Good work by Quartz and Sasevarevich. Harvey will win the ball, but they're going to call the foul. Quartz, I think we may have a cramp. Let's get the... I think, like, Quartz doesn't want it. She's got... I think she got a cramp in the calf. We're going to... Not good when you're getting the cramps. 16 and a half minutes remaining. She's okay. Foul was called. Probably the right call. Right in front of us. She was taken down. And we're hoping it's just the cramp in the calf. The bad is you're getting the cramps now. They're tough to run through. Ball just on the side of UNLV's field. Played in deep. Be controlled, played in, but cleared out by Maya Green. Kelsey wins the ball for UNLV. And it's going to be a throw in for UNLV. Arante was there. Really want to get Arante and Delgado back in that central. Get your shape back. Headed out by Sasevarevich. Harvey will clear out the throw. It'll go to Settles. And she'll find some space. And she's got green grass in front of her. She's going to try and play it for Hudson. Mm, want her to take that space since she's got the space. Ball played out. It'll go to Quartz. She'll play it by Harvey. will control. She'll play to Sasevarevich. Tries to play it back to Delgado. It deflects to her. She'll try to swing the field and does. There's Jordan Martinez. Quick turnover and ULV will control the pace. There's Hudson running a ball down. Got the ball, but the foul is called. And it'll be a free kick for UNLV. Both teams working hard. Just a little less than 15 minutes remaining in the second half. 1-1 the score here in Bakersfield. Ball played in. Morgan Cole with the header cleared, but not out. But that's out. Good job by Arante and the runners. And we'll have subs on both sides. Sophie Freeman, WAC freshman of the year, checking back in. Number six, Katie Ballou, she checks back in for UNLV. Sesaverovic, she checks out for the runners. And number 18, Reyes, she checks out. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Ball played in for Settles in midfield. Rebels win the turnover. There's Quartz. Nice little 
Flick over to the defender there on her own. Man, that girl can create. She may be up for some awards here at the end of the year, that courts player. She's a good player. Ball be played out of Ronte to Freeman. Tries to get it in for settles. Delgado, one of the best holding mids in the WAC conference. She wins everything in front of Cole and Maya. She's there as usual. Little battle on the wing there, and they gets the swim team going. They are so much. There's Jordan Martinez. She's got control. Tries to go to Freeman. It makes it there. Going to let it go for Harvey. And ball be cleared out. And it'd be a throw in for Harvey and the runners. Harvey's got space down the line if somebody wants to make that run for him. Sin Sophie also settles. It'll go over the top. It'll go to Amina. Throw in will go to UNLV. Quartz throws, Quartz, nice little ball in. Ball played in deep. We're going to go over the top for Morris. Great job by Harvey. She'll clear it out off of Morris, and it'll be a CSUB throw. Tried to get it to Delgado. It's a turnover. Morris will control one on one with Maya Green. She'll cut to her right. There's Cole. She'll lay it off. Shot. What a save by Bertram. The ball is labeled for the upper right hand corner. And Jordan gets over with that big left paw and knocks it out wide. And we're going to get that on replay. What a save by Bertram to keep this game 1 1. The sophomore from Gig Harbor, Washington, with the biggest save of the night for CSUB. What a job. Ball played in on the corner kick. Headed over the top to be a goal kick. Let's see if we can get that replay on the shot. There it is. And what a save by Bertram. That ball labeled for the upper right-hand corner. Two subs coming on. Here comes that girl, Kamari Hines. She'll come on. Hudson checks out. Jordan Martinez, she gives good minutes to Coach Kernin. And Vicente checks back in. Vicente got one of, one of the best shots I've seen in my life tonight on the volley that just went wide earlier in the second half. UNLV will control. There's Morris. She's really starting to put her name on this game. She's doing some damage up front. Ball played in, and it'll come right to Bertram's hands. 11 minutes remaining in the game. 1-1 one, one the score. Great punt by Bertram. Arante wins it. Don't forget, Kamari Hines is in, and all she does is score clutch goals for Gary Kearney, and it's a 1-1 one, one game. Good job by Ariana. It's a throw to UNLV, but Harvey once again doesn't get beat on the wing. Saya getting ready to check back in for the runners. Ball played in. We're going to, no foul. Push from behind. Tough down call there for UNLV. Easily could have been a foul. What a ball by Hines. That'll break him down. Oh. Sess. It's Hesaverovich that tried to play that one in. It was. Tried to play Settles in, and it was stolen by UNLV. She had some space to take the space. Here comes UNLV, under 10 minutes remaining in the game. Good job by UNLV and CSUB. Morgan Cole's down for the runners. Ball's played in. Can they get it out? Can't clear it. Cole's hurting. She's off the field. Now it'll be played out, and we'll get a chance to check on Morgan Cole. And that'll probably get Jordan Martinez up. Or you also have Kinsey Size who may check in for Cole. You have Kinsey Size who really did work good work early in the year for Coach Kernin.
So where we stand, 9-19 remaining in the second half. UNLV won, CSUB won. Both goals have been scored in the second half. And it's going to be when we were when we start play again. It'll be a throw in for UNLV. It looks like it could be possibly a cramp. I'm trying to see on the monitor. It looks like they're trying to stretch her. I'll be honest. When it was 100 degrees earlier in the year, I don't remember anyone having a cramp. Now we got great weather here, and we've had two cramps. Kind of interesting. Kinsey size is ready to go in if Morgan Cole can't go. And we're trying to see if she's going to go or not. And she is. Kinsey size is going to check in for Morgan Cole. So Morgan's cramping. I want to get some fluids in her. Throw in for UNLV. And they'll get a good ball in in six yard box. A little toe poke. And it's a goal. And I think it's that girl again. Quartz. Sophie Quartz. The senior from New Hall, California, gets her second of the night in the 82nd minute. It's late in the game. So CSUB is going to have 9.08 to get the tying goal. They're going to trail again, and let's see if we can push forward and get that tying goal. Here come the runners in Delgado. She'll play a ball wide. And Morgan Cole getting ready to check back in for size. Size to green. She has Ariana Schwancher. Ball over the top and be headed out. And Sally will dive and keep it in play, and it will not be a corner. Good job by Sally working back to keep it from being a corner. And now the Rebels will use that clock. Good punt by Sally on CSUB's side of the field, but the Elgato wins the header. UNLV wins the second header, and Size will win the third ball. Kicked from behind, no call. Arante will control, and she'll look to play a wide. Good ball to Saya. Ball back to Arante. I'm telling you, nothing bad happens. Give that ball to Arante. She does damage. She's got it, and she'll look to switch. What a switch out to Sophie Freeman, and here comes Harvey. Freeman's going to take it one-on-one, -on -one, look to cross. It's a great ball in. Hines is in there, deflected out. Settles is in. She'll look to cross. Cleared out by UNLV, deflected. Turn, shot to go over the top. Good work on the side volley by, I think it was Vicente. Cole will check in for size. Kruitz checks in for UNLV. Kayla Brinkman checks out. Brinkman, a senior from Las Vegas. Sally's going to take the long goal kick for UNLV. It'll be a short one to Quartz. Deflected on. It'll go right to UNLV, they'll try and work the line. Ball is out, it'll be a throw for the runners. And once again, UNLV kicks the ball away without any warning at all from the official. They continue to do that. Headed on by UNLV, there goes Quartz. Arante will get a card. Try, stop the flow of play. He's got to mark the yellow. Stop the play with 6.46 remaining. UNLV leads 2-1. to one. Go. 
this game is not over, folks. As they keep saying, both teams really enjoy playing overtime. <laughs> they've played 15 games total between the two teams, and they've played five overtime games. So both teams enjoy playing overtime. Freeman goes back to Harvey, deflected out and kept in by UNLV, and she's going to be off sides. And it'd be a free kick for the runners. And the clock is the enemy for CSUB right now. Long ball for Harvey to settles. One by UNLV. Freeman tries to win it on the line. Can't, but Harvey's there to keep it in the flow of play. McKellick. Kelsey for UNLV right here on the line, right in front of us. She'll take the throw, and you know it's going to go down the line. And she'll continue to waste the time. Now she's gained about 20 yards. No call. Mm -mm -mm. Cleared out by CSUB, controlled by Kingman, and she'll swing it wide. Try and play the long ball into the box. And there's Maya Green on the header. Nice ball to Delgado. Little too far. Quartz has it. She's looking for the hat trick. Left-footed shot goes wide. Saved by Bertram, and she's got the game in her hands with 5.15 remaining in the game. This ball somehow, some way in the box needs to fall to the foot of Kamari Hines. The clutch up top. Goal scorer for the runners. And it wouldn't surprise me if the assist came for Arante, and there she is. Arante to Green. Maya from Sweden swings it wide. Great angled ball in for Settles, deflected out, but here's Arante. And we got the width with Sophie Freeman out wide. Good ball by Arante. Freeman gonna look to cross it in, does. It's a dangerous one to Settles. It'll go right to Sally and she's able to knock it down and she'll cover up. Four and a half remaining in the game. Long punt. Will bounce right at midfield. One bounce, two bounce. They try to control, can't do it. And Harvey will throw. Harvey's throw. And they're going to play a little. And we're going to have finally our first delay a game. And it's not even going to be a card, surprisingly. Kreutz. Not a lot of sportsmanship there by Kreutz. She wasted about 25 seconds for UNLV without a card. Pretty amazing. Cole tries to swing one in and go right to Sally. And the keeper will control and make Settles come forward. Punt right at midfield again. Delgado tries to win it between two Rebel player and Harvey has it. Yanked from behind, no call, and Harvey's going to run her. Kreutz wins the ball out of bounds. It'll still go to the runners. Throw in to Settles quickly to Freeman. She can cross one in. Shot. Sally drops it. Was it in right on the line? And if we get a chance, I'd like to pull that up on the replay if we can. I'd like to see if that ended up bouncing over the line. I'm not saying we have the best angle. I'm just curious on how that looked because that official was not on the line. And she dropped it twice. Ball played in, Settles can't get it. 2.45 remaining in the regulation. Ball be cleared out by Holloman Long, but there's Maya Green. She'll head to Delgado, she'll bring it down. Great job by Sabrina. Plays it wide for Freeman. She'll try and play it in behind to Settles. It was a great ball. Holloman will play it out. Ball in for Hines. She'll lay it off for Arante. That connection. Freeman looking to line. She'll go to Hines. Can they get a corner out of it? Ball played in across. Cleared out by UNLV. It'll be another throw in. And here comes Maya Green to take the throw. And you got to push everyone now. You got to throw the house at them if you're CSUB. 
Throw in goes to Hines. Ball to Settles. Amina can get a ball across, deflected out. It'll go to Quartz. And she's got space in front of her. Ball cleared out and won by CSUB. And here comes Harvey. Good ball to Arante. Minute 36 remaining in the second half. Delgado wins it to Cole. Play it to Saya. Saya will cross one in. Hines will win it top of the box. Ball played in for Vicente. Deflects in for Settles. Great job by Sally. Bravery coming out by the goalkeeper. She wins it off the foot of Settles. And you and Oviel coming the other way. We have a timeout on the field. 106 remaining. Jordan Martinez will check in. I didn't even see. We have a player down, and I can't see who it is. My guess would be being here on the right. It's probably Sophie Freeman. She's at the right mid. I think we got another cramp. And so Sophie will... It is. It's Sophie Freeman and Jordan Martinez will check in. 106 remaining. Ariana Harvey will push up to the midfield and Jordan Martinez will go to the right back. And Coach Kernin needs... Harvey will knock it back to Sally and that's very... Sporty of them with a minute left in the game to play it right back into the hands of the keeper. Sally will punt it right to midfield. She's done it all night. One on the header. Martinez there defensively. Kreutz spins. She's going to try and get into the corner and waste time. 40 seconds remaining, and they'll call the foul. And that'll probably be the way Kreutz works. We saw what she did on the sidelines. She probably won't even take this kick. <laughs> Delay, delay, delay. They'll knock it to court. She'll dribble to the corner spot. And they will waste the time. And CSUB will get a chance. 15 seconds left on the throw. Arante will get it. Win it to Harvey. Settles will get it. Think Settles can push forward. Tries, gets it to Vicente. She's going to shoot from right inside the circle, and she hits it on target to Sally. What a job by CSUB at the end to even get a shot off. Great job by Vicente in the effort. But UNLV will improve to 7-1 and one with a 2-1 victory here and a hard-fought victory here at Maine Soccer Field. CSUB falls to 5-4. and four. Listen, once again... We apologize for the beginning of the game, but the word Whack Digital Network, we got it worked out. And we appreciate you joining us. Once again, we will be back again on Sunday here at Maine Soccer Field where CSUB will play Sac State. And that'll be a battle as well as the only loss for UNLV on this season was one nothing at Sac State. So once again, my name's Curtis Felzer.